Welcome back to another custom to the countdown to Halloween and today we'll be making Harry Warden from my bloody Valentine so let's get started all right so it's custom is pretty much easy just everything is just black arms just black no not red black I meant like this hands just black hips just black Same for the legs, just black. The torso we have is, uh, we're actually gonna eat the torso we have right now, just make it black. Alright, now it's time for the face. So, the face I went with is this one right here. Yeah, it doesn't have a mouth, but you'll see, you're about to see what I'm gonna do with this. So, if we go to accessories, I'm gonna, and so like, uh, let's see, uh, this one right here, the, ve the ventral, uh, the, the ventriloquist. Yeah, I think you go with that. Now for the neck piece, I went with uh, the breathing apparatus because I think that works the best. And for the helmet piece, I gave him a construction hat because I thought that looks the best on him. So all I've got to do is uh, give him the weapon of choice and that will of course be the pickaxe which is listed in hammer and axes and let's see, pickaxe, there it is. Alright, so we're going to give him the pickaxe and make that black right here. Okay, now let's go to the effects. We don't need a left hand go or right hand go, but for the hidden pack, I'm actually gonna make it red. Cause you don't see why, cause it kinda looks like blood. So I think that looks pretty cool. And for the jump sound effect, we're gonna make it black. Like this. Okay, for now, on for the ability. So we don't need anything for the tag button or the X button. Yeah, we don't need any of those, but for, see, for the square button, I'm just gonna need taps square but for whole square we're gonna go with a lunge ability uh, and just sort that out real quick actually what am I doing wait, wait, wait. I should do it this way that way does not switch to two left loop door I think that should fix it There we go, yeah, I should be installing them too where he runs towards them. Okay, now for top circle, we're gonna give him a detective mode. Make that black. Or white, or red. Oh, I think I like red better. Yeah, there we go. For whole square, okay. The one ability I would absolutely love to give him is the... The, the ability to make to throw his pickaxe like a boomerang, but unfortunately he just throws an actual boomerang, which kind of stinks. So we're just gonna leave that off. Cause if I can make him throw the pickaxe like a boomerang, that would be awesome. But unfortunately we can't ha have that. So what we do instead, we're gonna give him destroy mode. I guess that could work. Or uh, make okay, probably not a destroy mode. Okay, so for skills, okay, so we don't need grapple, no, we don't need technology, we'll add walk, rack up at wall climbing, uh, smash walls, I'm not gonna give him super strength, no crookinesis, no actually beamer, no, no beamer flag, x-ray, no, gloom command, no, tracking, yes, we'll make that, let's see, that looks kind of cool, so let's stick with that, we'll add illumination, because like his hat, like, supposed to have like the, the light on his hat, but unfortunately nothing can do that, so this is the closest we're gonna get right here, and we'll add stealth. Okay, so yeah, that's pretty much it right here. So all we gotta do is just name him, and fill in the information, as I should say, so we're gonna go black, uh, we're gonna go with standard health, choose any male voice, uh, we're gonna go with mercy grace, this doesn't matter because of the weapon we gave him, basic speed, and all we gotta do is just name him. Alright, so there we go. Alright, so here's my custom Harry Warden from my Bloody Valentine's. So I got tap square for the fighting. 
hold square for the lunge ability, tap square, tap circle for the detect the mode, and let's see which target seeds off the right here. All right, I'm fine. Don't try. Don't eat. Don't do that attack on objects because it just looks weird with all that blood. But definitely do it when you're to those off police officers right here. Like okay, I try to attack. Come on. Hit the police, there we go. Okay, let's grab her. Okay, got her with the pickaxe, now that's... Oh, yes, oh, that's awesome. There's a police officer right here. Gotta yeah, pick this out. This is so freaking cool right here. Oh, yes. Okay, let's go here. Uh, let's fight some police officers. Come on. Oh god, I got tased. Am I hitting the police officer? Come on. There we go. Oh no, I died. Uh, <laughs> Alright, so I've only seen- I've actually, I've seen both of the my, my Bloody Valentine movies. I've seen the original one and the remake one from 2009. And which one do I like better? I think the original one. Because, you know, classic is always the better one. I mean, the remake is not bad, but I just think the original is better. So, about Harry Warden, so he always a- a miner that got trapped in one of those caves um, after two supervisors neglected their work of tent in Valentine's Day. So yeah, he was, and then after that, he was the only survivor of the miners who got killed and in that tra the cave they got trapped in. So he's and that, and that's and he starts killing people on Valentine's Day. So that's the story of Harry Warden. Oh. Yes, <laughs> yeah, he's attacking the police officers with the pickaxe. Take that. I'm gonna end off here, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video of my custom the countdown to Halloween, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.